Well, the question now is, can a new party be formed, Freedoms New Zealand, as claimed by Brian Tamaki yesterday? Is that going to happen? I talked to some people before, just before all the protesters turned up, and protesters, I'm going to call them demonstrators or the rally, turned up at Parliament and said there were going to be four parties in this new right-wing alliance. Well, they managed to, and other than that, um, well, I don't know, even, the, well, they announced three, they've managed two, and there is already, it appears, um, some serious questions over what Brian Tamakini announced yesterday. Now, he is actually coming into the studio soon. Ben is about to go down and uh, collect he and Hana Tamaki. So he's going to join us and we're going to talk about the events of the past 24 hours and also about that, that protest, that demonstration yesterday. But during his address to the crowd, some of whom I think did not turn up at Parliament expecting to be part of a Brian Tamaki rally, um, during his address to the crowd of non-Nazis, that was the other thing I just want to say, didn't see a single Nazi there or a fascist. I just saw people exercising their democratic rights. Um, he said he made a call out because uh, he said, look, we have got the new, Nas uh, new National Party, which is funded by uh, Michael Yacom, who is a Wellington millionaire. So the new National Party, I don't know if that's registered yet and if it's got 500 members. Vision New Zealand, which is his wife Hana Tamaki's sort of political vehicle, I don't know if that's actually registered as a party. So those two are together. So the Tamakis have done a deal with this guy, Michael Yacom. Okay, fine. And then he said the Outdoors uh, Freedom Party, Outdoors Recreation Party, which is this lawyer, Sue Gray from Nelson, and their anti-5G and anti-1080 and stuff. He said they were going to join us. They were just waiting for that to be signed. Well, interestingly, uh, that party has come out overnight and said, no, 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 Brian's uh, jumping the gun there. So then he made a call out to a number of other people, including Gaurav Sharma. He said, give me a ring. Maybe you can join this new political uh, grouping. He talked about the new Conservatives, Helen uh, Houghton, for, who leads the new Conservative Party, and we're going to talk to them later. But in particular, uh, he called out to former National MP Matt King, who has a new party called Democracy New Zealand, and is making a bit of splash on social media and out doing his thing. So Brian Tamaki also suggested that um, Democracy New Zealand could join, what is it, Freedoms New Zealand, it's all very confusing to be honest, and come under this umbrella, this umbrella of, let's call them right-wing conservative, some would say alt-right parties, I don't know that that's a particularly useful label. So to find out whether any of this is going to happen, I thought the best thing we could do is talk to Matt King, and uh, he said yep, and he's on the line now, and he's fact, in fact on the video link, so you'll be able to watch this later. I'm presuming, from up in Northland. Matt, uh, welcome to the platform. Nice to have you with us. Morning, Sean. Lovely to be here. All right. Uh, first up, first up, has um, Brian Tamaki or Hunter Tamaki or this guy Michael Yacom, have they formally reached out to you in any way about joining this new umbrella group? Yeah, they did. They did a while ago, and uh, we, we've declined to be part of it. And I hear him talking now as if uh, it's still viable. Democracy in we're Democracy New Zealand, but our, our name is Democracy NZ. That's what we call ourselves. Democracy NZ is not going to party up with um, the Tamaki Show. Definitely not. Why not? Because the, the, I, it's a matter of trust. Um, the, the man says something to you privately and then he says something different publicly um, and we we don't need to be uh, burdened with the tamaki um, we're we're our own party we've got a good team we've got a good strategy are you saying we've got tamaki's lied to you in some stage in the past oh he just he, he yeah he does he just says one thing to my people um, that have been talking to him and then he goes and says something else online um, you know one minute he's telling his his um his people not to vote for me or not to have anything to do with me because I'm establishment and I'm this and I'm that. And then he sends me an email reaching out to say, come and be part of the party. And I just can't understand his thinking, you know, that he can he can diss us publicly 
be and then and I would consider joining him. But it's deeper than that. I mean, I've been speaking out against these um, mandates, SNA, three waters, free speech for a long time. I was speaking out, pushing back against the narrative well before the freedoms and rights um, movement was even formed. I was doing it early last year and you can see from my social media presence that I was doing that. There's interviews way back when it was really unpopular and, and actually tough going to actually speak out against the narrative. So what are you calling uh, Brian Tamaki or Johnny come lately? I just can't trust the man. And for, for us to form any kind of alliance with anyone, we have to have trust, we have to have loyalty, we have to have a team sort of, um, and, and these guys, uh, I don't trust them, not at all. All right. And we will never consider with, we will never consider going with the um, with that movement or that umbrella. No. All right. How are things going for democracy in New Zealand? Gangbusters, um, Sean. We're having huge followings and meetings. Um, the momentum's gathering. We've got a board formed. We've we've just heard from the electoral commission. They've done all the verification checks for our membership. We're advertising um, the fact that we exist and that we are a party. With, through the commission on the 31st of August of the protocols um, and then they have a board meeting mid-October for, for us to be approved as a, as a registered party. Oh, so you're still not, let me just get this right then, Matt, you still haven't got 500 members, you're still not a registered political party? No, we've got well over 500 members, but we only submitted our, our paper um, about three weeks ago. So with the, the process, which takes about um, 12 weeks, um, is in is in, in in line now. So we, we've had we've had um, well over five hundred paid up members for a long time now, but we didn't submit the paperwork until three weeks ago. Yeah. All right. Okay. What do you think about these other parties, the new national or new nation party of Michael Yacom? Do you know anything about that? Yeah. Look, to be, to be honest, we, we as a as a party, we've been in talks with um, various different smaller because that's what the the um, voters and and people around the country want us to do so. so to be fair we have put a serious effort into talking to the various other smaller parties to see if we can find any common ground and the door is open to um, anyone that has values that match ours but at this point in time um, we won't be joining forces um, that's not to say that um, you know in the next few months you know others might come and join us definitely and, and the door's definitely open and there there are some people that I, I, I would be interested in but but not not the likes of Tamaki and uh, and definitely not New Nation Party either. Okay, uh, what about Outdoors and Freedom Party? Sue Gray. No. No? No, no. What about we're the We're a serious party. Okay what, okay, what about the New Conservatives, Helen Houghton? Look, um, we're, we're, this, is, this is my thinking, Sean. We're a credible, moderate, middle-of-the-road party. We're not right. We're not centre-right at all. We've got supporters from the Labour and Green movement come to our meetings. In fact, sometimes up to half the people in the room are former Labour and Green supporters. So we're we're the middle of the road party, and 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 I, I, because I'm a former MP and and lost the seat North and seat by the smallest margin, I'm the only small party that has a chance of winning a seat and therefore getting into Parliament. The five percent is a massive hurdle, but um, winning my seat in North a good strategy and a good plan, and we've got funding lined up, and we've got a massive of campaign that we're going to be well before the regulated period. So, um, you know, we've got a good chance of getting across the line by my winning. Well, well uh, to be honest, by political history, Matt, you don't. Uh, and I don't mean to be rude. You've got a snowball's chance in hell, mate. Well, I can tell you this. We're part of the change of government block, right? So we want to change a government. I've said that very clearly. I'm not going with Labor. I'll never form a, a coalition with them if we get across the line. And if you look at all the, all the Northern voters, you say, you electorate, any of your parties, you're just deciding if you get a national MP or a, a, a Green MP or a Labour MP, you're not getting one extra MP in Parliament, right? But if you want to you want to guarantee a change of government, you vote for me and you get my, myself yeah. and whatever party vote we get. So it's it's for, for centre-right voters that want to change a government, voting for me is a good strategy. All right. Uh, Matt, we had uh, Winston Peters on yesterday and in what was quite a surprising change of strategy, Mr Peters told us, he basically said Labor has ruled out a coalition with New Zealand First if it were to get over 5% and return to Parliament. Um, I know they've got sort of Shane Jones kicking round up there. Is that a party you would look at, at doing a deal with? No way. And I'll, for a number of reasons, the man 
this across the line. He's been the establishment for 40 years. I think supporters of New Zealand First have amnesia. They've just got to look back and see what the man's done over the time and what he said and helped on. And this Labour ch just changed to not supporting Labour is another backflip. He just says what he needs to say to get the support. I would never work with the man, no. OK. Um, so you say you're going to be registered in, what, three months' time? Until then, you're just a Facebook page? Um, we're, we're, we're going to be registered all going well uh, middle of October when the Electoral Commission has their uh, board meeting. So it's just a matter of... Uh, you know, we've got we've done all the work that we need to do. We've protected our name and logo. We've got legal protection for that. We've got signed up our members. We've got a constitution. We've got a board set up. We've got we're, we're interviewing candidates as we go. So we're well on the way. So the, the October will be the official date that we get registered. But we're doing all the groundwork and have been doing it for months. And meantime, you were saying to Brian Tamaki, who was li literally sitting about twelve feet from me uh, in our green room. You're saying to Brian Tamaki, I'm not going to do a deal with you, I don't trust you, you're a liar. I would say that, uh, uh, look, I just say I don't, the last word you said, liar, I don't want to call him a liar. I'm just saying that I don't trust the man and I won't be forming a coalition. We're not connected with them in any way, shape or form. But right. I wish them, I wish them, you know, I wish them luck because we're all fighting the same cause. We're all fighting the freedom cause so, um, and our rights. So, so you know, I, I do say, hey, I don't wish All right, so like I'm going to come back to that last comment. I was going to let you go. And so we're all fighting the same cause. Yeah. You know, the odds are long, Matt. So if you're all fighting the same cause, why don't you bury the hatchet, come together and at least give yourself, I don't know, a min minuscule chance of electoral success? Because, Sean, as I said before, the punters have got to decide who has who, put your money on the, the horse that's most likely to get a win, and we are democracy. Well, NZ, I'm saying divided, separated, all you parties that might be fighting, you've just told me, are fighting for the same thing, have way less chance than you do collectively together. No, I would say to you... To, this to you. Uh, if we, if the parties join forces, there'd be an implosion, probably just before the election, from all the different people and all their different values. I could never support a party that supports co-government or three, three waters or SNAs. So, th th you know, I mean, there's a lot of differences with us as well. I mean, we are all about our human rights, basic human rights, but I've been speaking about, about them consistently for a long time. So, no, us going, all, I think the big parties would like us all to join hands and then we'd implode just before the election and they get the result that they want. All right. Hey, Matt, I thank you for your time uh, this morning. Uh, good luck with it all. It can be a lonely and tough uh, journey, uh, the path you are, you are set on, and I thank you for joining uh, the platform and sharing uh, your thoughts uh, with us this morning. Thank you, Sean. All Appreciate right. it. Uh, that is Matt King, former National MP for Northland, now leader of... Democracy in New Zealand, which we find out actually isn't a political party yet because it's not registered. So it's kind of a Facebook page of Matt King at the moment. It will be registered. And what he has done is rejected completely, utterly, uh, without any ambiguity, the invitation extended to him yesterday by Brian uh, Tamaki at Parliament um, to join this umbrella uh, organisation, Freedoms New Zealand, which looks to coalesce or bring together parties on what some might call the right of politics or minor parties who are involved in social conservatism and, and, and the issues of freedom. Um, so that was absolutely, that was a slam dunk from, uh, uh, from Matt King in terms of, of a straight answer. Good on him.